Okay, I'm back working with one of my uh, more favorite circuits. This is the Slayer Exciter. And uh, I've incorporated a couple of my little cement batteries here just as receiver towers. Uh, they're not uh, showing any voltage uh, at this uh, point here, but about one volts in the microamp rating. But they're still useful, and uh, they still show some voltage. But I'm showing this uh, in an interesting circuit here uh, using an exciter to make the LEDs go. And it's running off a double-A battery there. And the guys are working with these little tiny, tiny coils now. And that's wrapped up on a soda straw. A 31 gauge, uh, I don't know how many turns, but it's about an inch, inch and a half, uh, maybe two inches long, with a ferrite core. That's a ferrite core in the middle there. And you can see it's lighting a neon and an LED. And it's just this simple Slayer exciter circuit. And... Uh, this is the bare bones basic Slayer Exciter, uh, just miniaturized. And uh, like I say, it's one of my favorites because it is so darn simple. And uh, something I noticed here, once you get this tuned up in resonance, you can pull the base resistor. And this is right out of uh, Dr. Stifler's um, um, SEC experiments. When you get this thing tuned up in resonance, you can pull this base resistor and the dynamic of this circuit keeps right on going. And there it is oscillating with uh, no capacitor, no base resistor, just the dynamic of the field around in this area right here that keeps this in a high frequency resonant um, circuit. And here's my little tester right here. I'll show you the, the field coming off of the, uh, the battery here. And uh, this draws about 23 milliamps. This is not super efficient, but it's spectacular that you can make it run with so few parts. There's just the MPS A06 transistor, an LED comes off the base um, rail, and uh, neon running back to the base rail, and that in tunable inductor. And then this tower here is not attached to anything. That's just picking up the uh, excited environment. And this is working like a ground plane here. And uh, I'm not picking up anything off of this whatsoever. Come over here, I should pick it up off that. There I go, I pick it up off that. And of course I pick it up over here on the positive and negative rail. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with folks that uh, this uh, is a tunable inductor. And when I tune this out of phase, this is going to shut down. Watch this. Blink. And once it's down, she's not going to go back up again unless I add these base resistors. And then it starts back up again. Anyway, fascinating little circuit. Uh, this is the Slayer Exciter circuit. And I recommend this one to anybody. Uh, it's very, very forgiving. And uh, you can tweak it a lot of different ways and run it from a volt and a half on up to 30 volts if you want to, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Anyway, thanks a lot. I sure appreciate this uh, G-Bluer. <laughs> And uh, Slayer, you did a good one on this one. Thank you much.